My beloved Quattro of the Year has got a new problem. She smokes. She smokes white smoke and black smoke, making it even worse. Check this out. Firstly, how I realized that she is smoking is one day when I was walking here to the back I found a awesome smoking spot or can we call it a beauty spot right over there. Looking here to the side, that is where my exhaust sits. So we can do a bunch of diagnoses on the car. I've decided to start with a fuel rail pressure test and let me tell you guys why. As soon as I pop the hood, open the oil cap, I can smell fuel. That's right, I don't smell oil, I typically smell fuel. So that could be because of a wet piston. If you have never heard about it, go check it up. It is just saying that your car is over fueling and then most of the fuel is going into the crank case. And that obviously dilutes the oil, sending it through the PCV valve into the intake manifold, onto the piston and makes white smoke. So as soon as I floor the car, I'm having black smoke and as soon as I'm just standing or cruising or light pullaways, I am having white smoke. So I do hope that I'm just having a bad injector as it's probably one of the cheapest things to fix because the B8 has got a problem with the piston rings. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a fuel pressure rail test and this will indicate to me if the fuel rail can hold its pressure. Obviously if it doesn't increase to where it should be that means one of the injectors are leaking and might be faulty. Right over here I have got some oil so I'm gonna do the test and make sure I'm gonna open the oil cap let's take that out of the way okay so I'm gonna take a sniff of the oil and after that a sniff of the oil over here and let me tell you, it definitely smells like fuel. I've noticed that as soon as the engine is actually cold, you can smell the fuel much better. As soon as the engine is hot, you don't smell the fuel straight away. In order for us to check the fuel pressure rail, we have got to get the car to optimal temperature. That means we can go for a drive. just arrived back home from our drive and looking in the left corner let's turn the lights on you can see the car is at 90 degrees which is its standard temperature also you'll notice I've got a check engine light over here that check engine light is just telling me my car is over fueling so we're gonna go over to VCDS so now that we are here in VCDS we are gonna go to select control module so we're gonna click on it and we are gonna connect to the engine which is zero one. So once it's trying to connect, as you can see here, it's trying to connect to the CAN, but it doesn't connect to the CAN, it actually connects to the UDS. So I'll be showing you how to check the fuel pressure rail in UDS. So you're gonna go here to advanced measurement values. And what we're gonna do over here is, I just wanna see if we can search coolant there we go, coolant temperature, we're going to click that. As you can see, it is 84 degrees. So we want to check the fuel pressure. Uh, where is it? Fuel pressure specified value. There we go, it's 4000. So that is the measurement that we want. So before we actually go in, what I'm going to do is I am going to start the car. Here we go. It is started. The reason why I wanted to start the car is to show you what the fuel pressure is at. So currently here we go and this is what the fuel pressure is reading at. So how this works is as soon as you switch your car off because of the heat of the engine it will actually heat soak the fuel meaning it will expand. So if we are having 4000 kPa over here we want to have 8000 kPa plus as soon as we switch it off. It will take some time to generate typically you want to give it two to three minutes. So let's go ahead we're switching the car off and we are turning the ignition on. Perfect, let's have a look how it increases. 
while it is increasing i'm going to talk to you and explain to you what we're looking at and what is happening so the fuel in the rail is actually expanding because of the heat of the engine as you can see right over here it is still 83 degrees celsius and usually my car is at 90 so we are actually a little bit lower than what we should be and there we go we have got 8,000. so the rule of thumb is to have double than what you have when you're idling so we had 4,000, and now we have 8,000. There is no specific number it should be at. Rule of thumb is double and a little bit. I think I did mention it earlier in the video as well. And this looks great. So I will measure, well, I will give the time in the bottom right corner of how much it was when we started till how long it was up until now. I think it's about three or four minutes. So let's say after that same amount of period, yours hasn't reached 8,000 yet. It means that as the fuel pressure is increasing, uh, your fuel injector can't hold the pressure maybe because of a bad seal a bad o-ring or whatsoever and it's leaking fuel into the piston area causing a leak and the fuel pressure to initially drop and looking at this it is fantastic even though it is going pretty high up i think it's initially not supposed to go above 10,000. but once again everything is based on a rule of thumb there isn't a real measurement saying to how high it should go but because it's already 8,700, it is holding its pressure perfectly and that is what we want to see now we do know that the Audi doesn't fall under high pressure of fuel. So that still doesn't mean that the fuel injector might be fueling incorrectly. But at least we have got one thing ticked and I do hope that this video helped you out as well like in all matters. If you do have any comments let me know in the comments below. If you'd love to support the channel hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you want to see a similar video that you might also find helpful or entertaining hit any icon on the screen. But for now peace out.